Oh, great search. Brought to you by Digikey and Adafruit. Thank you, Digikey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses the power of engineering to help you, yes, you, find the things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, so this week, um, I've been working on the driver for the LPS 28. Um, so let's go to the overhead. I'll show it, and then I'll, I'll just show the data sheet as well. That's right. Can you go to the overhead? And then I'll, then I'll tell you when we go. We're on the overhead. No. What? No, no. Uh, overhead, not computer. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Whoopsie. That's okay. <laughs> Whoops. I had there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cameras. I had the label wrong. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's cool. Live uh, show. Live show. Okay, so this is the LPS 28 pressure sensor. So there's a pressure sensor inside of this little tube, um, and you can connect to it over I2C, send and receive data, do pressure. It's a nice sensor because it does um, high pressure range. Usually they top out about like 12... 60 uh, hectopascals, and this does uh, 4,000, so it has a like, times four range, which is kind of cool, because like I said, most most don't go that low, like high, low altitude, high pressure. Um, so another thing that's kind of neat about this is unlike the, you know, the BME 280 and 680 series, this has a port, um, and the port is intended that you could attach a tube to it, and then you can measure um, a cavity or like I'll show you we have the slip and puff sensor guide that we did um, and so you know as long as there's like a little bit of space around the sensor you can easily attach um, some kind of tubing so I thought what I would do because it's a common request people are like well what tubing I thought I'd show how you could get the tubing on DigiKey so um, let's go to the computer now yeah, I'm ready to thank you okay so this is the LPS 28 data sheet Got the pads on the bottom, so it's easy pick and place. And then, um, you know, this is actually theoretically designed for an O-ring, and then this would be exposed. And you can still use an O-ring. Um, it's actually not a bad idea. You know, maybe I'll do O-rings in some other uh, future video. Um, you can use O-ring, but I, you can also use this to clamp. So if you go to learn, and then we did the sip and puff project, which with a very similar sense of the LPS 33, and with that one, you know, you take this tubing, and so this is like the data sheet, what they suggest. They're like, oh, you would just put it in this aperture housing thing. But like, we wanted to have a tube so you could like uh, suck and blow into it, and that's how you actually send. You could do Morse code. And so if you don't have control over your fingers, um, but you want to communicate, and you know, a lot of people, because your breathing is like a core capability, if as long as you can breathe, you can communicate um, by doing uh, Morse code sip and puff. Um, so this way you put the tubing on top and you clamp it on. So I thought I would show, you know, this is one technique, but I thought also maybe we could get a tubing that's just a teeny bit um, less, uh, the diameter is slightly less than the um, outer lip here, maybe, and it would, maybe you could press fit it on um, you just you know you just gently kind of screw it on and you would you'd make a seal that way and then of course if you want you could add some epoxy or something okay so let's go to digikey let's search for tubing so you may not know that they stock because uh, they do pneumatics a lot of people who do automation like if you've watched uh, how it's made there's like so much automation that's done with pneumatics like because it's um, inexpensive and easy to replace and very powerful uh, so you would need tubing and hosing. So just be aware, don't get the heat shrink tubing. We want like hose tubing. So let's go there. And so the most important thing is um, that it is, we'll do like the in-stock, but the inner diameter. So we want the inner diameter to be, uh, you know, maybe 2.4 millimeters or less and it definitely has to be greater than 1.88 so it'd be like between 1.9 and 2.4 inner diameter outer diameter we don't care as much so there's no 1.9 2 is like the minimum so hold on, let me move it over here so i can flip back and forth 1.9 to 2.4 maybe i'll do 2.5 just for kicks and then apply and then um, lots of tubing. I'll say that a lot of the tubing is marketplace and there's nothing wrong with that. You can absolutely do it. And some of this is even like food safe. So if you wanted to use this to measure something that was um, 
you know, had water, like puddle of water, you could do, you just have to sterilize it. Um, however, I'm going to go just, and these are totally fine, you can do these, but because they're bulk, you don't get them, um, you get like one gigantic long thing, which, which maybe you don't want. Uh, maybe you just want a little piece. So I just said exclude the marketplace, just stuff sold by DigiKey and also normally stocking, so stuff that's like in stock right now. And there is still bulk tubing available, which is cool, but what I, and this is actually kind of neat, there's a, um, like a joiner. Oops, hold on. Oh, weird, the image doesn't show the thing. Oh, weird, maybe, I wonder why this overhead thing doesn't work. It got confused. Okay, anyways. Um, but what I thought was neat is that they do have a continuous spool, digi spool. So what's neat about this one is that you can order any quantity and it's like really inexpensive. It's under a dollar a foot because you're just getting one meter at a time and you just tell them how many meters you want. And this is from Festo and like they make great stuff. Um, inner diameter is 2.1 millimeter, which is great because it's just a tiny bit less than this but still gives you a little space here. So again, you could use an O-ring or you could like clamp it if it isn't like, you know, um, if it isn't a tight fit. And because it's only like a dollar a foot, if it doesn't work out, you can always try one of the other ones that's a marketplace, but you'll get this really fast. And they'll, they'll cut whatever length you want. So this is my pick uh, if you want tubing. And I bet they have other diameters and widths. So if it's like, if you're trying to connect to some other hydraulic or pneumatic system, um, they probably have these in other sizes and then you can get it up to 500 meters in length. So they'll, they'll do the cutting for you, which I think is really nice because most companies don't do that anymore. They do custom cut lengths. So this is my pick for the great search. That's a great search. Where in